the graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. <laughs> the enthusiasm is appreciated, but hopefully not. Nearly 200 years. And I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Cazador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. The person I was lay here. Dead and buried. I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You. I want. You. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this. I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again with everything that life has to offer. <laughs> and here I thought I was the dangerous one. But I'm not so frightening after all, am I? That's interesting. I might even say I like it. <laughs> And as for you and me, well, uh, I'm willing to wait. We might not have forever, but we do have all the time we need. Uh, unless we die horribly tomorrow, which uh, is always a strong possibility. <laughs> uh, come on, let's get back to camp. Who knows how long before the others go feral without us there to guide them. I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again with everything that life has to offer. A great deal. <laughs> but nothing I can act on without burning to a crisp. But I'm willing to wait. You have no idea how mutual the feeling is. 
But there are other ways to connect with a person. And who knows? Perhaps someday you'll be free of that engine. Or perhaps I'll just decide some things are worth incineration.